All right, so this is the Argon 1 M.2 case. So <clears throat> this is a case for a Raspberry Pi 4, specifically for a Raspberry Pi 4, and it includes a board that will allow you to connect an M.2 SATA SSD using USB 3. So uh, yeah, it accepts uh, M.2 SD or SSD, NGFF, key B, and key B plus M. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna open this up in this video and show you what's inside. And uh, basically this video, I'm just gonna show you all the parts that come in the box. Um, pick this up for this much at Micro Center. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what comes in the box, talk a little bit about the specs and stuff. But other than that, this is not the setup video. I'm gonna have a future video where I actually show you uh, um, where I actually, um, you know, show you the, the pie inside this and everything working and talk about how well it works. I'm going to try to test this out with an actual M2 drive. So that's the next, you know, that's a future video for, for today. We're going to go over all the parts in the box and all, all of that. So if you want to know where you can pick this up, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to include a link in the video to where you can grab it on Amazon. I, I bought this one from Micro Center, though, in, in person. Physically, I went there and bought it. So any case, let's open this up. Yes, yeah, so this is a very nice case, and which I guess it should be at that price. Um, but yeah, so very, very nice looking case, and it should uh, provide some nice capabilities. So uh, let's, let's see here, pull this plastic off. So this is basically everything here, everything that came in the box. It basically has some plastic, um, has a little bit of a manual here, talking about how to put it together and stuff. And it also comes with, uh, yeah, that's it. The box is empty besides that. So that's what comes in the box. This is the case. So <clears throat> this is what's inside. So this is metal. So th this is this feels relatively heavy. It's like a nice solid piece of metal. It is a nice looking case right here. So uh, no complaints there, this is pretty cool. And um, comes with this little adapter here, which I imagine has to do with uh, using your USB ports on your Pi to connect to SATA. So this is really like USB to SATA. So um, other thing to point out that it showed on the box here, this has a UASP supported. So uh, just you know note that, but in any case, um, <clears throat> comes with this thing as well. So you have this, uh, Audio video in, HDMI in, um, HDMI in. All right, that's all fine and great here. A couple um, full-sized HDMI ports here, so that's kind of cool. Um, what else? AV out. So uh, there you go. Okay, so I, I believe these plug into the side of the Pi, and this would be for actual output. So this just gets translated to here. And let's see what else. We've got some connectors here. Oh, yeah. Before we look at that, so the bottom of this has uh, has this board built into it. This is where you'd put your your M2 drive. So that that's the actual socket right there, and you can see you can take different sizes of M2 drives depending on how long it is. You could put your screw here, 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 or here. Actually, not here. But actually, is that a spot? You might be able to put one here. But in any case, you could. Yeah, I guess this would be the last one. So this is the screw that you would move either here or any of these spots. This is where your drive would go, plugs right into here. Um, you have a USB port here and so on. So yeah, this is Argon 1 M2 SATA expansion board. So yeah, that's the expansion board. And uh, this would connect to your Pi. Let's see, what else? <clears throat> okay, so this is how this is gonna work. Um, so I believe I have not looked at the manual yet. So this is like first initial impression. I'll show you how this all worked out after the fact, after I set this up. But for now, I am just going to, uh, yeah, look at that. That is a little, this will detect if the case is open or not. So that's a little button there. But yeah, so I will show you how this all worked out after I test it out and try it. But right now, this is just initial impression. I have not, had not checked it the contents of the box before buying this. This was kind of a, just a quick impulse buy at Micro Center. I bought this um, without really looking at the parts or do, reading any reviews or looking at the manual. So this is like a, a first impression, uh, initial impression type video. Just quick unboxing, showing what's in the box, talking about what I find. Um, next video on this case is going to show this in use. I'm gonna buy an M2 drive for here. I'm gonna connect this all up to my Pi and get it working. So this, I believe, is going to end up plugging in here like this. And I believe your Pi would be connected right here. 
and would plug in there. So I actually have a Raspberry Pi for on my desk here. So I'll show you how this would probably fit, right? So your 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 Pi is going to your your Pi is gonna be like this. I believe it's gonna plug in. You know that does that even make sense? Yeah, all right, I believe that makes sense. All right, I think it connects to some of the things on the top part of the, I'm gonna to have to go over the manual with this. But essentially the idea is that this will basically, this is the smallest thing they could possibly make. The idea is you want a cable coming from your Pi. You, you need USB coming from your Pi to this this board right here. So you're gonna use a USB connection to, con to connect to your board here, which is basically an adapter or whatever that will connect to your M2 drive right there, right? So your Pi is gonna go right here and you are basically going to plug this in, connecting those two USB ports like that, right? So that, that's the idea with that. And you are then going to also have this, did I mess up my light here? All right, so anyways, you are going to leave this connects like this. And I should really be reading the manual for this, but there we go. So this is gonna to connect together like that. This goes on here like this. And this, all right, so we have some cooling on the top here. <clears throat> we have some GPI, this connects to your GPIO pins, which are over here. So these pins are gonna to connect to this thing right here. This top is relatively heavy. So I'm not sure what all is built into. Okay, this comes, oh, that's nice. Okay, so this slides right off here. And has magnets here, so this will stick right on. That is really nice. <clears throat> and you have color-coded um, GPIO pins, and they're all labeled here. So you have the labels right here, and they're color-coded right there, so you can plug things in right here. And it, it's actually easier to look at than what you see on the board here. So, yeah, so this, it plugs in here and goes through this whole thing here. So this will go on like this. <clears throat> can access your GPIO pins right here. <clears throat> and this will basically go over your, the, once this is connected, you, you'll we'll all have to screw this together and stuff, but the, it has um, holes for each one of these things right here, like that. So that's how that will fit. And what else could we say about this? Um, let's see. We have always on and one to do default. I believe there's a power switch on here. Um, so this I think is gonna be where your, yeah, the, your power comes in here. And okay, yeah, that, that does make sense. So there's an actual power button on this. So press the power button on the case to power it on and your power will come in here through USB-C, comes to this board. So it's gonna provide power through this board and into your GP, I believe it's coming right through your GPIO pins right there. So the, your Raspberry Pi is being powered through the GPIO pins. So this will go on like this and power your Pi um, through this thing, right? So you're not gonna plug your power in. So you have your power on the Pi right here. You're not gonna power it through that. You are gonna power it through these GPIO pins, which will be connected through this, which connects to this, and you will and power its power from here, while also giving you access to these GPIO pins and giving you a nice little power button. So this is pretty neat. So really neat um, <clears throat> case here. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this case. It, it is a nice case and everybody has said it's a, a nice case. Um, looks like it is, nice solid metal. Um, great setup, great, <clears throat> great design. They put some some thought into this and did a great job with it. So I'm pretty impressed so far and looking forward to actually getting this up and running. So I almost forgot to include this part. This is what comes in this little bag here. So what, what do we have here? That is it. So we have some screws and some little, some little uh, rubber or plastic standoff things and some connectors here. These look like an, like adhesive pads. <clears throat> so it looks like this is actually meant to be, so this over here is actually meant to be a heat sink. So the case itself being, you know, solid metal is meant to be the heat sink. And these two things are meant to stick onto the Raspberry Pi. So I believe you put those adhesives on these and connect it to your Raspberry Pi for cooling in, look, hold on here, let's see it. 
So that matches up perfectly. So I believe that's how that's supposed to work. I have not read the manual yet, but I, I believe that's what that's there for. So anyway, stay tuned for that next video. And um, <clears throat> that's about it for this video. And remember, check the link in the description. And uh, also hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, subscribe, because we have a ton of other great content like this. We do single board computers, robots, electronics, coding servers, Linux, all sorts of great stuff. You don't want to miss out on that. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you'll actually get an alert when we do come out with new videos. And uh, might want to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say. Um, leave a comment down below if you have your own experiences. Leave a comment down below for that. And um, that's about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.